Hello and welcome to the Total Network Inventory Tutorials and Examples. This module is designed to obtain all the necessary information about every installed application on remote devices. Using this mode, you can easily keep track of all software found on your network and quickly build a report according to the required criteria. The main module window can be divided into the following elements. A toolbar. A master list with all software elements found on the devices. A panel with templates needed to build reports. And a details panel that contains detailed information about the selected elements. Let's take a closer look at the module operation and its capabilities. Double-clicking on any item in the Programs list will open its Properties window. This window contains both basic information about the software element and allows you to enter additional information, such as selecting a category or entering additional data in the Comments field. When adding any comment to the software properties, you will see the corresponding icon in the general list of programs. This will mean that this element contains additional information that you can quickly view or change by simply clicking on the comment icon. Right here, in the main list of programs, using the context menu, you can add an element to your favorites or assign a tag to it. A tag is a kind of label that can be attached to any of the list of items in any quantity. You can select a tag from a previously created list or assign a new one for further ease of use or filtering. Using the same context menu on an element, you can change an existing program category from the list or create a new one, similar to the tax functionality. In this case, all categories of available programs presented in a separate list column and all changes are displayed immediately as the actions are performed. Similar to categories, you can also change the data by software distribution type, specifying only the required type. All changes will be immediately displayed in the corresponding column of the general programs list. In addition, you can similarly make changes directly from the list by clicking on the icon in the column and selecting a different distribution model. One of TNI's features is also automatic collection of icons for detected programs. If the icon could not be collected during scanning or you just want to replace it with another one, then simply click on the program icon in the main list and make the necessary changes in the open window. As we can see, it's possible to enter different information for any of the software elements in the list. However, the presented features may not be enough for a complete and correct display of all elements in the main list if you need to sort by a certain criterion. In this case, the filter menu is designed specifically for such tasks. Select the desired filter from the menu and the software will immediately display all the programs that match the given condition. By selecting additional filters, you can narrow down and compile a list with all the programs that meet the specified criteria. If you need to disable the filter, then click on it and select the Deactivate option. In this case, the filter will be disabled, but it will be present on the toolbar for later activation. But if you want to remove and hide the filter completely, then select the appropriate setting from the menu. You can also deactivate all filters separately or together at the very end of the program list. For the general convenience of working with filters, you can pre-select certain filtering criteria and save them under a suitable name. In the future, if necessary, you can quickly call them in the form in which they were configured. The filtered program's display counter will tell you the exact number of displayed items in the list. It's worth noting that sometimes it may be necessary to count a program as a single item in the list, but installations that have different versions are counted as a separate applications, and this can make further accounting difficult. In this case, the Merge option will allow you to merge installation with different versions into a single piece of software, and thus make it easier to keep the application in the list later. Let's take TNI as an example. The program is regularly updated and has different versions, each of which will be displayed as a separate element. In this case, it will be more convenient to combine installation into groups corresponding to the purchased licenses. But now, as an example, we will combine all versions of the program into one group. Moreover, when choosing this option, you can additionally enable automatic addition of new discovered versions to the general list of installations and specify the account of the merged item as a separate unit on each computer. 
The last option is useful for situations where there are programs that have separate editions installed and these editions count as separate installations, although they don't require separate licensing and registration. Now let's take a look at the Details panel and its capabilities. When you select any element from the main list of programs, this panel displays all information about all installations included in this group found in computers. You may notice that the comment on the item from the list is different from the Settings comment field. This is due to the fact that the comment in the top panel is a general comment about the program, and in the bottom panel, it's about its installation on a specific computer. Also, the Details panel has some helpful tools. Find information about the application on the Internet. Visit the developer site if this information is specified in the program properties and rescan the devices listed. In addition to providing general information on installations, the Details panel has a license module available only for the TNI Professional version and the tracking module. The installation tracking module is designed to mark software as required or prohibited. This can be useful for tracking installation policy violations so that you don't have to constantly filter reports to find the presence or absence of a particular program. The process is completely automated and TNI will notify you of any changes. For example, if an app was detected as prohibited and it shouldn't be installed, or vice versa, the app that's required to be installed completely complies with the rules and is present on the device. Tracking Assistant will be a great help if you always want to be aware of any installation violations. To create a monitor for the installation of a specific app, select the program from the list and then drag the monitored object from the network tree to the required tracking category. In this case, when the installation is required, the current program is not installed on the selected computer. TNI will immediately display relevant notifications of this violation in the Details panel and in the general list of applications. On the other hand, if the app is prohibited and it was added to the opposite tracking criteria, then all the conditions will be met. TNI will also promptly display the appropriate indication of this. Thus, you can add both individual devices and entire groups to the watch lists. In addition to everything but a simple indication, the tracking mechanism can be configured in another way. Using the options provided in the Details panel, you can set your tracking conditions. The Deactivate option will disable all tracking for the selected element. The For Selected option will allow adding devices as shown earlier. And the For All option will show the entire list of devices that have installation policy violations and devices that not have these violations. Moreover, in this mode, you can add exceptions if, for example, the selected application is installed on the administrator's computer or on the central server and does not require monitoring. The last but not least element of the program accounting module is the ability to build various reports. Select any of the available templates and the details panel will display all the necessary information. For ease of viewing, in the full screen mode of the program, you can switch the details panel to a vertical view. Pressing the panel layout button again will return the display to its previous appearance. You can also create your own template from scratch by selecting the corresponding option in the sidebar. But if you want to use any of the standard templates as a basis, then simply drag the selected template to the custom category. The report constructor will open, which will have pre-prepared conditions into which you can add new criteria or make changes to existing ones. Please note that this functionality is completely similar to building regular table reports but the only difference is that in this module, when creating a template, software is already selected as the report object by default. This condition applies to all standard templates as well as custom ones. This means that when building a report, the data will be displayed from the selected software element and not from the device as when building regular table reports. If necessary, you can change the report object at any time. In the same way, you can change report objects and display the data in the regular table report module the output of the basic information will be identical. The toolbar in the details area will allow you to export or print a report based on a previously created or selected template. And the toolbar in the main area will allow you to export the entire list of program elements to the most popular formats, taking into account all the selected filters. In conclusion, we should add that if several specialists work with the TNI at the same time, then only one person will be granted access to the module. The rest of the users will receive a notification about who is using the accounting module at the moment.
Nevertheless, everyone using other copies of the program will have access to work with data from the accounting module in the table reports. If you have any additional questions about how this mode works, our online documentation will help answer them. Thanks for watching.